Hi and welcome back to Mark Dick's Music and on this YouTube channel and my Facebook page I help you to become a piano legend. In this week's video I'm going to show you a quick win on how to play a chromatic scale with a fingering trick that's going to really knock you out and really improve your chromatic scale runs on the piano. If you don't know what a chromatic scale is yet don't worry I'm going to show you. If these videos help you out subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit like on the Facebook page and I'm here every week with a new video to help you become a piano legend. So let's get started. So what's a chromatic scale and why do you need one? Well, you might recognize this sound as a normal scale, but you might never necessarily have practiced playing this run of notes. That's what's called a chromatic scale. Let's look at what it looks like on the keys. So let's look at those two examples again. This is what I call a normal scale. That's not a very technical term, but we're gonna use it for now. It's what's called a major scale to give it its proper name. But what does the second example look like that I played you? What I called a chromatic scale. But first of all, let's just double check we know what a chromatic scale is. Chromatic scale is when you play every single note that's available not just the notes that would construct you a major scale. And there are 12 of them in music, no matter where I start. So if I start on a G and play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, then I'm back on a G again. So 12 different ones. And that's the same no matter where I start on the keyboard. So a chromatic scale is every single semitone. So then the next question is, what's the fingering trick that's gonna get you playing a chromatic scale on the piano like a legend? I'll show you. So with most scales that we play, we would usually use fingers in order, like one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. We wouldn't dream of missing out a finger. But when you play a chromatic scale, that's exactly the best way to do it. So rather than having your hand in a straight line like this, just an ever so slight tilt of the hand around like this brings your middle finger almost in a vertical line with your thumb. And that's what we take advantage of to play a chromatic scale. So the trick is this. If it's white note followed by black note, you're gonna play thumb, then three, one, then three, thumb, then middle finger. If it's two white notes in a row, like it will be at an E and an F or a B and a C, that's when we're gonna use one and two, the consecutive fingers. So white, black is one, three. White, white is one, two. So three on any black notes thumb on a white note unless it's two in a row so watch one three one three one two three one three one three one two three one three one two three and so on so i promised you a quick win on how to play a chromatic scale and that's it you want to see it one more time here we go one three one three one two three one three one three one two three one three so if we have two white notes in a row one, two. If we have a white followed by a black, it's one, three. It's a little bit of a tilt. Why are we doing it like that? Because it gives us this shape, which is much quicker to move into than trying to, what happens there? I've run out of fingers. I have to use three in some way. So if I get that shape ready, it puts everything in a vertical line. And that's handy because the notes are so close together. And that's how you play a chromatic scale on the piano like a legend. If these videos are helping you out, please don't forget to hit subscribe or like on the Facebook page. I'll be bringing you more of these videos every single week to help you get better on the piano. Till next time, take care.